Hi everyone, it's Miss Margie here at Minglewood Farm and Nature Preserve. I'm happy to be with you today to share a virtual lesson on weather patterns. We're going to talk about all the weather that comes to visit us here at the farm in North Carolina and around the United States. What is weather, you may ask? Well, it's what gives us this hot weather we're having today, our snow at wintertime, our hurricanes and tornadoes that come in the spring and summer, our ice storms in the winter, it just depends on what time of year it is, what weather pattern we're going to get. Knowing how to predict and forecast the weather are great skills to have. For instance, they'll help you know, is it going to be cold outside today? Do I need to wear a coat? Or is it going to be warm and I need to put on my sandals? The seasons are the result of the tilt of the Earth's axis, which always points in the same direction. When the North Pole tilts toward the sun, it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, which means warmer weather. And when the South Pole tilts toward the sun, it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere, which means we can expect cold weather. Today we're going to learn about all the different weather patterns here on the preserve. You'll learn how it changes throughout the seasons. You'll be able to be weather watchers with us. Come on, let's get started. Farmer Bill and I have lived on this farm for 35 years, so we've seen quite a lot of weather patterns change in the four seasons. Spring. Summer, fall, and winter. As farmers, it's important for us to study and observe the weather so we know how to make farm management decisions, like when to plant and when to harvest our crops. Let's learn about the different weather patterns, starting with spring. Spring is the most active weather season of the year, with a reputation for producing extreme weather including snowstorms, tornado outbreaks, and flooding. Spring weather has more sunlight than winter, warm temperatures, and a lot of rain. In the spring, changing air temperatures come with changing air pressure. High pressure causes air to sink, usually resulting in several days of clear sunny skies. As air rises in low pressure areas, it forms water droplets, usually resulting in rain and storms. Air pressure is measured using an instrument called a barometer. On the farm, spring weather brings many opportunities and challenges. An increasing precipitation pattern in the spring has many benefits to germination and early crop growth. Warmer spring weather means more opportunities for outside field work. But spring is also a really cold time of year, so if you plant too early, we may have to put lightweight blankets over to protect our crops from the frost. Or if there's too many long periods of warm days, flowers might bloom and be hit by frost. We didn't have many blueberries this year because we had a pretty heavy frost late in spring, so they did not produce the fruit that we are usually used to receiving. Spring is known for its changing temperatures. It can be warm one day and freezing the next. These temperature changes can cause thunderstorms to form when warm air rises to meet cold air. This spring, we had a sporadic hailstorm. It was caused by drops of water freezing together in the cold upper regions of thunderstorm clouds and falling down to earth. Some of the hail pieces were the size of a dime. In early spring last year, we had a heavy downpour which caused flash flooding here on our creek. The worst flooding happens when bouts of heavy rain falls on an area where the ground is already saturated from winter snowmelt or rain. Tornado outbreaks are probably the weather event most associated with spring. When cold air mixes with warm air, conditions are more favorable for tornadoes to form. Tornadoes are a good reminder of why it's important to watch and listen to the weather. Spring is a great time of year for planting as well. As it warms, trees and plants begin to grow new leaves. It is a safe time to plant warm season crops like cucumbers, tomatoes, and beans outside after the last average fall state which is usually mid-April for Minglewood and Surrey County. Now that we've talked about spring, let's reflect a little bit. What are some of your favorite spring memories? What were you wearing? What were you doing? What was the weather like? During the summer in North Carolina, the northern hemisphere of Earth is tilted toward the sun, causing more direct sunlight and more warmth. Summer is traditionally associated with hot or warm weather, humidity, and lots of sunlight. In Westfield, the warmest months are July and August, with the average high temperature of 87.6 degrees Fahrenheit. My husband, Farmer Bill, has been recording the weather here for years. 
He uses his weather journal on a daily basis, recording the highs and low temperatures, and if it rains, he records that volume of rain. The hottest temperature ever recorded at Minglewood was 102 degrees, recorded in July of 2014. Temperature is measured using a thermometer. Rainy weather patterns happen mostly during the spring and summer. Rainy weather can be helpful to the environment because it provides water for plants to grow and for animals to drink. Farmers also need rainy water so their crops do not dry up and die. July receives the most rain in this area with heavy brief storms. Now that we've talked about summer, what's summer like where you live? Does it get pretty darn hot, I bet? Do you have to change your clothes and start wearing shorts and sandals? Do you eat ice cream and popsicles to cool you off? Do you maybe go swimming with your friends and family? What are your memories of some hot summer days? Autumn is the season between summer heat and winter cold when temperatures gradually decrease. It often is called fall because leaves fall from the trees during the season. The fall has cool weather including less sunlight than the summer months and windy cool temperatures. Like in the spring, the fall is a changing season with an increase in the clash between cold and dry air and warm and humid air. This clash of air can create severe thunderstorms. The fall season temperatures can be quite pleasant with the lowest amount of rainfall in the year. Autumn is the driest season of the year. Temperatures start to gradually decrease in the fall, causing deciduous trees to lose their leaves. These changes in vegetation affect the type and amount of food available for humans and other organisms. Animals gather food in autumn in preparation for the upcoming winter, and those with fur often grow thicker coats. Many birds migrate toward the equator to escape the falling temperatures. Many animals in this region of North Carolina must find alternate food sources, move to winter locations, or hibernate. On the farm, autumn is connected with the harvesting of crops. In many cultures, autumn, like the other seasons, has been marked by the rites of festivals revolving around the season's importance of food and production. At Minglewood, October is the time to plant strawberries. These strawberry plants were collected in the summer from last season's runners. The plant will grow through the winter and we will be ready to harvest strawberries in late spring. Now that we've learned a little bit about fall weather, What's the fall weather like where you live? Are you helping your parents rake some leaves? Maybe playing in some leaf piles? Have you been to a farm and picked a pumpkin? Maybe carved a pumpkin? Hope you're changing to warmer clothes because it's chill. the weather's getting chilly. Winter is the coldest season of the year. The name winter comes from the old Germanic word that means time of water and refers to the rain and snow that are characteristic of the season. Winter and spring are cold times of year here in Westfield, North Carolina. The weather includes the least amount of sunlight, cold temperatures, and snow. There was a record-breaking cold front in January of 1985, where the all-time lowest temperature recorded in North Carolina was negative 34 degrees Fahrenheit at Mount Mitchell. In Westfield, North Carolina, January is the coldest month, and lows can get into the 20s, sometimes in the teens. The lowest temperature that Farmer Bill has recorded at the farm was negative 10 degrees in January of 1986. Winter also brings freezing temperatures and wind chill. When it's cold outside, rain can freeze into solid, which is ice. This could make it dangerous to walk or drive outside. Just north of us in the Blue Ridge Mountains, weather patterns can be extreme at high elevations. This past winter, there was a severe ice storm. Can you hear the branches cracking under the weight of the ice? There can also be bouts of heavy fog in the wintertime. The cloud is water droplets of ice crystals suspended in the atmosphere. The cloud that forms near Earth's surface is called fog. Sometimes the fog is so thick you can't see 10 feet in front of you. When the rain vapor freezes, it is snow. In Westfield, we average about 9.2 inches of snow a year. Knowing weather patterns is important on the farm because it allows us to know the times of year when it's too cold to plant. The concept of winter is associated with seasons of dormancy, particularly in relation to crops. Some plants die, leaving their seeds. Others merely cease to grow until spring. 
Many animals become dormant, especially those that hibernate like frogs and bears. What do you like to do outside in the wintertime? Maybe go sledding when it snows or drink hot chocolate to help warm you up? What clothes do you need to wear to keep you warm? I hope you get outside today and observe some of the weather patterns we learned about. Thank you for joining us. Now let's check for understanding. What weather patterns can we expect in the spring? The weather patterns for spring in the Piedmont are commonly warm days and cool nights. But spring weather can also bring wildly varying weather, anything from snow to heat waves. What type of weather patterns can we expect in the summer? The weather patterns for summer are predictably hot and humid. Summer is also the wettest season of the year with bouts of heavy rainfall. Now, what type of weather pattern can we expect in the fall? Fall has rapidly changing temperatures from warm to cool. It's also the driest season of the year in North Carolina. What type of weather patterns can we expect in winter? Usually we expect cold and dry weather patterns. Storms can produce snow, sleet, freezing rain, or a wintry mix of multiple precipitation types. Thank you for joining us today on our virtual field trip on weather patterns. I hope you'll get outside and enjoy watching the weather patterns in your backyard.